During this pandemic, we faced many challenges, including a lack of sharing information, a lack of sharing biological materials, and a lack of sharing technology, among others. This hampered the response, cost lives, and revealed the limitations of the global preparedness. For the world to respond quickly and more effectively at the next outbreak or pandemic, the world must prepare now. At the World Health Assembly special session in November 2021, all member states agreed that COVID-19 reflected the need for all countries to share information and strengthen systems more effectively together. WHO's job is to support countries, our member states, as they negotiate and agree on an accord to commit to protecting future generations from pandemic. Our mandate is 100% determined by member states and what they agree. The accord process is led by member states with their own intergovernmental negotiating body called INB, representing all regions of the world. The INB has now started a two-year process that includes global public hearings with all stakeholders. This represents the world's opportunity to plan together, detect pathogens quicker, share data broadly and collectively, respond more effectively to the next disease X or known pathogens. Unfortunately, there has been a small minority of groups making misleading statements and purposefully distorting facts. I want to be crystal clear. WHO's agenda is public, open, and transparent. WHO stands strongly for individual rights. We passionately support everyone's right to health, and we will do everything we can to ensure that the right is realized.